What's going on guys, I'm Mark Linsaga from Techno Buffalo, and today we'll be giving you guys our full review on the Moto X second generation. We've been using the phone for about two weeks now, and I think it's time for us to share our final thoughts. Just over a year ago, Motorola introduced the original Moto X, a different kind of smartphone than anything before it. You could customize it to your heart's desire through Motorola's Moto Maker, and it was packed with innovative and user-friendly features that a lot of people really enjoyed. Even though it didn't pack the beefiest specs, it provided a really nice experience that still holds up to this day. The new Moto X has the same name as last year's phone and carries over a lot what made the previous Moto X great. When it comes to the hardware, the new Moto X features a 5.2 inch 1080p AMOLED screen that looks absolutely gorgeous. Above and below that are dual front facing speakers that sounds incredible. It's packing a 2.5 GHz quad core Snapdragon 801 processor, 2 GB of RAM, and comes in either 16 GB or 32 GB of internal storage. It doesn't offer expandable storage, which isn't a big deal to me, but it may be to some. It's running Android 4.4 at launch, it will be upgraded to Android L when it's available, and it also has a slightly better 13 MB pixel shooter on the back that can film 4K videos. It also packs a slightly bigger 2300 milliamp battery and comes in either black or white with numerous customizable back panels and accents. Now our review unit came in black with a black leather backing. I'll be honest, I hated the leather at first, but after about a week or so, it definitely grew on me. So I'm gonna break this review down into two sections. What I like about the phone and what I don't like so much about the phone. So let's start off with what I like about the phone. The new 5.2 inch screen is gorgeous. It's sharper, brighter, and just nicer to look at when compared to the last year's model. It's got great viewing angles and can be seen in bright sunlight without any issues. The build quality is great too. The metal frame and buttons that surround the new Moto X feels great. And the new leather material makes the new Moto X a much more premium phone than ever. And I'm glad that Motorola tried to keep the phone's footprint as little as possible like last year's model. For context, it's just a tad bigger than the Nexus 5, which we consider to be the perfect form factor. Motorola also included a splash guard coating to protect your phone from water, but it's not waterproof by any means. The dual front facing speakers are loud and sounds great, though it's not as filling as something like the HTC One's dual front facing stereo speakers. Now the four new IR sensors on the phone which activates Moto Display and supports gestures like Moto Action is also a really cool feature that I'm sure a lot of people will enjoy. Just wave your hand over your phone and it'll show you the time and or any notifications you have waiting for you. Unfortunately, Moto Display only shows three notifications at a time which isn't all that great but definitely much better than just having one notification display, just like last year's Moto X for example. Now with Moto Action, you can silent an incoming call or alarm by just waving your hand over your phone. It works but not as accurate as we thought it would be. Moto Assist is still present here, it'll basically change your phone's behavior based on the time of day, whether you're in a meeting or going to bed, and there's also the new Moto Voice which I really like a lot. This isn't really new to Motorola fans or Android in general, but this year Motorola made it much more customizable. So you could say something like, hey dude, and it'll activate your voice control right away and you can set alarms, reminders, send messages, or even status updates to Facebook. Now all of these Moto features you can tweak to your liking and Motorola made everything simpler by just putting all these features into one app. Another thing I liked just like last year was that it comes with an almost stock Android experience, of course with a few of Motorola's app built in. Now everything about the phone is fast, it's much smoother, and much more responsive than ever. Now let's talk about what I don't like about the phone. First, let's talk about battery life. Battery life is probably the most important one to me, especially coming from using the OnePlus One where the battery lasts for an entire day or two. The Moto X second generation lasts about a full work day and I know that may be adequate for some people, but I wish Motorola would have spent more time improving the Moto X's battery life, which is inferior to devices like the HTC One, Galaxy S5, and the LG G3. The second one on my list would have to be the camera. I wouldn't say that the camera is bad by any means, but it's not a whole lot better than last year's model. It's really fast, almost as fast as my iPhone 5S, which is great, but images are still grainy and blurry in medium to low light. In broad daylight, on the other hand, shots were crisp, saturated, and punchy, but it's still lacking overall. Focusing is also a bit unreliable, which can be pretty annoying, and the new ring flash around the Moto X's camera isn't all that great either. It looks cool, but not any better or any different than any other smartphone flashes we've already seen. So to wrap things up for you guys, I'm giving the new Moto X a Techno Buffalo score of 9 out of 10. There's really not much to complain about this phone, it's fast, the specs are top notch, and the overall build quality and form factor is perfect. The camera is good, but we wish it was much better, and battery life should be more than enough for the average Joe. Anyways, that's it for this video guys, if you guys have any questions, just let us know in the comments down below. 
I'm Mark Linsenka from Techno Buffalo. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching this video, and if you guys would like to see more, please hit that subscribe button down there.